Just got my BAM Horror Box in the mail, and I thought, you know, uh, currently Oregon is on fire. Uh, if you can look out there, this literally the fucking sky is full of smoke. Uh, the sun is fucking red. It's like apocalyptic shit right there. Uh, that is a red fucking sun. Um, so I thought, you know, it would be fantastic to go outside, breathe toxic air, and crack open this box full of horror stuff that I don't know what's in there. Um, as usual, I had to get some coffee. I went to the pizza over there, if you can look over there. It's uh, delicious. I love it. It's good. However, they gave me a small straw. That's a baby straw. Fantastic. Gotta have the caffeine to, you know, keep doing the shit and walk and function. Uh, these BAM Horror Boxes are pretty small. They run about 30 bucks um, compared to other boxes that I've done in the past. Uh, this is one of the smaller ones. So this should be a really quick video for those of you with uh, short attention spans that don't want to watch me blabber for too long. So I'm gonna kind of keep it a mystery there and there's a really loud car. Uh, not really smart coming outside to do these videos with cars everywhere, but you know what? I don't give a shit. I'm just doing what I want to do and fuck that car's loud. Uh, so here's our little uh, BAM thing there. So the uh, first thing I got is, if you want to get a little closer, that uh, not sure what this is. It's a, a lip thing. Okay. And next up, uh, we have card and a piece of plastic. Uh, a little, I'm guessing, a skull button. Not sure what that goes to, but all right. Uh, and then we have a uh, little wolf pin right there. And then, uh, as a, what I usually would expect, a lot of these band boxes are usually an artist print, and then the last piece is the autograph in there. Uh, so this is the artist print that I'm going to guess. Uh, it's cool, it looks uh, very scary stories to tell in the dark kind of uh, feel to it. So uh, the art prints are actually usually pretty decent with them. And I guess here's the last piece, uh, the autograph. Hopefully it's good. Hopefully it's not something that I already have. Okay, this is actually decent. Uh, my assumption is this is uh, David that was an American werewolf uh, from London right there. Uh, that's the signature, so that uh, I'm actually pretty happy about. I mean, if you look online, it's like a hundred bucks to get a signature from it, so that makes the box super worth it. And uh, if you can get a little closer, here's the uh, contents of the box. Yep, so the autograph was from David Nockin, not, I'm never gonna say his name right. Uh, the fan art print was a scary story to tell in the dark, so I was correct on that. Um, the prop replica was uh, from the 1988 cult classic, The Kiss. Uh, I have not seen that movie, so uh, I don't fucking know. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, the contents of the box were kind of eh, but the, the autograph alone uh, definitely made the box worth it. Uh, Hello FedEx, good to see you today. Um, that's it, uh, that's, I'm done. I don't really have anything else to say. So uh, that's a wrap, I'm just gonna cut it out.